the People is a national competition for both middle schoolers and high schoolers, centering around um, American government, the Constitution, and principles of constitutional government. Every student in eighth grade at our school who's taking civics had to join a We the People team when we had school competitions. The winners of those school competitions then went to state competitions. The state competition was held at a nearby college, UVA, and then um, we won the state competition, which was immensely exciting, and then we went to the national competition, and at each level, our grade and skill really improved, and I feel that over time we learned so much more uh, about American government. And then after we won state competitions, we went to national competitions. We placed second nationally. These two I got at states, me and my partner placed the best unit three team, so we got this special medal, yeah. then we got this for winning states, and this is a nationals medal, which is nothing on the back, yeah. and then we also got this pin so this is... for getting second place in nationals as well. It was great, they pretty much did all the work on their own and were willing to commit and it was the most cohesive group I've ever worked with. So they really supported each other. But I think this group in particular, given how unified they were and it really showed in their performance, they are the first team we've taken to nationals that's placed um, at all, never mind second place. I think they're a group that maybe is going to move up to Western together and more of them will continue participating because they are such a cohesive team and they want to work together and they work together so well. well we had about 15 members and they were divided into six different units and each unit focused on a different topic of American civics. We had topics relating from federalism and the ratification of the Constitution hundreds of years ago all the way up to modern day Supreme Court cases. So it was definitely a wide variety of topics and we definitely all became a little like specialized people inside of our own units. I do believe that citizens of the United States should be well educated because that's almost their civic duty as we would learn about in We the People. As a civic competition, We the People helped educate us on many topics from the founding of the United States up until modern court cases and the consequences that would have on today's society. And as a citizen of the United States, it is your civic duty to become educated on government matters. I think we always have students who are naturally interested in government, but who maybe haven't had the opportunity to showcase that interest prior to this project. And it really enables students to pick out an avenue they are interested in. So the different units, one of them might be more historical, so students who are more interested in history can talk about the Declaration of Independence or some of our founding documents. Whereas the students who are more interested in modern day applications can talk about immigration or issues with citizenship that are going on right now. And then embedded within every question are these connections to history and, uh, and modern day and how the government is operating and how it potentially should operate. I really enjoyed with the people, I enjoyed the community, I enjoyed the people I did it with, and I enjoyed what I was learning about. And that's why I'm planning to do it next year, again, at Western Albemarle, which also has a We the People team. I think that schools that have We the People teams, um, once you have a We the People team, you're more likely to do it again next year. And it's a great way of educating students in middle school and high school about the government and about principles of government. So I think that um, the more people doing We the People at your school, uh, the more people in your school are going to learn about government. We the people, Henley team!